Hey, hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. How are you doing? I am fine. I'm very happy today. Alexia is happy. She got a good night's sleep. Yes. So she wakes up like a crazy little <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> a little bird. Um, yeah. Fun fact. Right now, if you have not been listening to the most recent episodes, we're in a cabin in the woods yeah, in I, Western North Carolina. I'm showing a lot on our Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. And they have flying squirrels here. <laughs> so just think about that for a second. You are Brazilian. You love squirrels. I know that. What about a squirrel that can fly? I was so pumped up. Mind blown. Uh-huh. That was crazy. It is crazy. I came here screaming like, Fly said it's true. They exist. <laughs> yeah. Esquilo voador. Uh-huh. Meu Deus. So, Alexia, we could talk about flying squirrels all day long, but we need to talk about English. Okie dokie. Okay. So, we are continuing our series where we are giving our own analysis of the rules of language learning from Ollie Richards. So Ollie is a famous British polyglot, kind of an internet superstar. And he is doing this series on the rules of language learning. So today we are talking about rule number two, which he calls focus on dominoes, not gimmicks. Okay, my first question, gimmicks. Gimmicks. Yeah, not a super common word, but... Maybe it's a British... Mm -hmm. We use it in the U.S., but I do believe it would be more common in British English. Yeah. It's like a trick, um, a bad deal, kind of a scam, a scheme, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay? Okay. Cool. So, Ali, I love this video, honestly. Ali, if you're listening, I know you're not. <laughs> I like this video. So he really starts with the idea that the internet is making us dumber. It's making us stupider. Opinions. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so as I said at the beginning of this episode, I think it is. And you need to know how to use the internet in a seu favor, in your favor. In your favor, perfect. Yeah. Great job. And then he kind of moves into this discussion of how the internet gives us so much information that a lot of people have the tendency to want to optimize everything. Yeah, every, everyone wants to rush with everything. Yeah. So... I do this a lot. Yeah, it's one of the worst things to do with learning process, right? Yeah, yeah, which we will get into, but optimizing for a language really isn't the way to go, and that is kind of the next step that Ali takes. So then he gives us this strange examples of bananas and dominoes. So you do know what dominoes are, correct? Uh-huh, domino. Okay, domino. <laughs> <laughs> Ali makes the distinction between dominoes are like big things in your language learning journey that just kind of you put this one part down and then everything starts moving in the right direction, right? You get to the top of the hill and then it's all easy from there. Yeah. Once you really know what you need to do to start your process or to get better, at a thing during your process, it's a, a nice flow. Yeah. Right? We even have a phrase in English, the domino effect. It's like a snowball. Effect domino. Yeah. So he makes this... It's not only in English. <laughs> so he gives this kind of strange analogy. I believe he saw an advertisement for some sort of fitness trainer who he was obviously exaggerating. But imagine if a fitness trainer said, eat a thousand bananas a day and you'll lose weight because bananas are healthy. It's a good source of potassium. 
but he's saying if you do not have the basics, the fundamentals of your health already in place, like if you exercise on a weekly basis and you eat healthy in other areas and you have good social relations, then bananas are not going to make a difference mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. He talks a lot about finding your fundamental. Yeah, you could... Mm, I don't know exactly what you want to say. O ponto principal that you need to, like, get better or to start learning. Yeah, yeah. So you could say a fundamental point. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times in English we just say the fundamentals. Yeah. It's the basics, the things you need to know and learn to move to the next level. And I know that a lot of people will, like, Send him and send us a message asking, how do I know my fundamentals? Like, is it sounds? Are sounds, grammar, vocabulary? How should I start? Yeah. That is a wonderful, wonderful question. So let me set the scene a little bit. Alexia is very proud of her question, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, we are talking about There is so much information on the internet that most people will fall into this banana trap where they're playing with different apps. Ollie talks a lot of shit about Duolingo, which I love. Yeah, I wrote a blog post about it. Yeah. Which yeah. you guys should read it. EnglishNicro.com slash blog. Yeah, slash Duolingo. If you want to go directly yeah. to it. <laughs> But essentially, it's just finding the most important things with the level of your language in that moment. What is the most important thing for you right now to move to the next level and ignoring everything else? So for me, you would say? It depends on each person. For you, mm -hmm. an advanced learner. I would say probably three or four sounds. <laughs> I don't want to talk about them right now. But yeah, I think you're right. Because I already know how to structure a phrase. I know already how to try to find the right vocabulary. If Even if I don't, like I know how to get along with these things. I think those parts are more important for people who are beginners or intermediates. Yeah, intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you are in a very unique place with your English learning process because I would consider you a very advanced English speaker. And then you have to make the next jump from advanced to like a near native English speaker. Like you can express so yourself. Hard. I think it's, honestly, it's the hardest yeah. stage in any language. It gets so much time to get there. Yeah, yeah. There's a famous quote. Uh, I don't know who said it, so the attribution will not be correct. I want to say Warren Buffett. <laughs> but he said, when you are 95% done, then you have 50% left. Yeah. E você tem que dar dois passos para trás para dar um para frente, é mais ou menos isso. Exactly. But the cool thing is, this idea of finding your fundamentals, it works no matter what level your language is currently at, right? Yeah. So let's imagine that you are a beginner. The first thing that will really help you take your English learning to the next level I do not think it is an app. I don't think it's studying vocabulary words. I think it is getting over the fear, overcoming the obstacle of speaking English with a native English speaker for the first time. Perfect. That's yeah. my personal take. Yeah, but I, I do agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm really proud of people that I know, like my friends, that they don't have an advanced English mm -hmm. at all, but 
they are so outgoing and they don't fear at all that they start talking and communicating like getting along with your friends with you and everything is so fine yeah they can do it you can do it that's the main point yeah but with that said some people are naturally more outgoing and more extroverted and perhaps their english really isn't that good but they are not afraid to speak and they can make their self understood they can communicate with that person i would say the next thing to really take their english to the next level might be studying more formal grammar structures mm -hmm. so it really depends on where you are in your language learning process but if you can take a critical look at what you need to do next to get to that next level that will change everything yeah perfect and if you can't find that self analysis if you cannot really take a critical look at your own english because it is a difficult thing to do that's when you hire a teacher even if it is just for one class and say hey there are all these different areas of english which one do you think is most important for me to focus on now and then you decide where to start and go and do with the hard work because learning is a hard work you can't rush things that's it yeah exactly i will finish with just making an analogy to sports if we want to apply this sport analogy to soccer or football as brazilians would say <laughs> imagine watching videos of the best um goals from neymar that is like dueling right yeah imagine i don't know just having some fun in your backyard kind of kicking the soccer ball that's a little bit better but if you really want to get in the game you probably need to increase your running speed you need to improve your endurance you need to learn how to pass better what's endurance endurance is your resistance how ah. long you can continue running without getting tired mm -hmm. right those are the basics Five seconds for me yeah yeah alexia needs to learn how to run okay i hope that was helpful guys we will see you tomorrow with some more language learning magic until tomorrow sweet people stay safe stay Bye. sweet